Hello everyone, it's Matt from Akuma Mods. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how to level your Elegoo Mars bed. So right now what I had was a print failure where the bed leveling was tipped this way. I have already unset everything. Um, what you're going to need is your Allen screw, key, whatever you want to call it, driver. Um, there are two screws. Uh, one, they're both at the top of the ball here, or I'm sorry, at the bottom towards the build plate. Uh, one is going to be in the front and one is going to be on the right hand side. You're going to go ahead and loosen those up. That's left loosey, righty tighty. Okay, so once you loosen it up, you can see super, super wiggly, okay? So right now we have a vat that has some resin in it. doesn't have much, but, you know, we're just going to do this as if anybody has stuff inside of it. Even if you take it out of the box, you know, let's just call it, yeah, you have resin in it, all right? So we're going to go ahead and slide this off. Now, when you slide this, make sure you lift up a little bit as to not scratch the LCD screen. We're going to set this off to the side here. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our tools, I believe, manual. And we're going to go to the left here. Uh, it's right above the stop button. That's basically your zeroing. So now what it's going to do is it's going to come all the way down to your LCD. And while it's doing that, take a sheet of paper and rip it down to size. Put it on the screen. Now I know some people are going to be worried about, you know, oh, I might damage the LCD screen. Okay, if you're worried about that, you can use, you know, a paper towel underneath there, whatever. As long as you get something that you can kind of feel out how much you need to use it for. But it should be pretty good by itself. So, as long as you got that super loose, you shouldn't have to worry about that. So, two things you have to worry about when you're leveling. One, you have to worry about how it's seated. Because what it can do, the build plate can actually shift left and right. Not, not only can it move uh, up and down, it can move left and right. So that's, that's basically why there's two locking mechanisms in there. So we're going to even this up a little bit. Okay, so now it's the build plate is even as even as it's going to get with the LCD screen. So now that we have this all set up, we're going to go ahead and press this down a little bit. Now, the good thing about the Elegoo Mars is this is spring-loaded, this uh, uh, chamber here. So that kind of helps push the build plate down. So it helps us in leveling. So now all we have to do is just go ahead and tighten this up. Okay, there's one. This one's a little hard to get to when it's down on the bottom here, but okay. So the closer, the better. So there, we have, we have one that's pretty close. Now, again, like I said, even though I, um, I adjusted the left and right, it's still a little bit off on the LCD screen. So we're going to go ahead and adjust it just a tad here. And then we're going to go ahead and finally tighten it all the way up as best as we can. You really got to crank these suckers down in order to get them right. Um, I do suggest picking up a different set of uh, an Allen key uh, because these ones with the ball end, they tend to not be very good. So um, it's always best to uh, get a better set of these if you have them. So now what we're going to do is we're going to raise the build plate so we can adjust this one on the right as best as we can. So we're going to go ahead to 10 millimeter. And we're going to go to press up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten presses. Okay, that'll raise the build plate as far as it needs to go. That way we can get our vat back in there and everything. And at this time, if you have any resin around the area, you can go ahead and clean that all up and, and get that uh, looking nice and purdy. Um, I do use this stuff called invisible glass uh it is really really nice i use it for mostly my car but uh you can use it on anything that has like a glass like surface and it will clean it a hundred percent uh as best as it can so there are some stuff on there so we're gonna go ahead and clean this up uh so we're gonna grab some invisible glass and a paper towel and we're just gonna spray lightly on there don't need anything spectacular Okay, basically one spray, some white foam will come out, and that's good enough. So 
So you might have to go over this a couple times because uh, this stuff does uh, take a little bit to, to take all the um, the like fingerprints and everything. Your, your oils, basically. So uh, especially if you're using a regular paper towel. Uh, I do have special towels that, that take a little bit more off, but you might have to do this a couple times. Or you could be okay with the satisfactory look, but we'll, we'll hit it a, another time here. So... Not the Z there. Okay. So it looks like we're going to be as good as we can get on that. That's good enough for me. Okay, so now all we have to do is take our vat of resin, slide it back in here. Again, when you're sliding it in here, try not to just slide it in, lift it up a little bit and slide it. Uh, again, the reason being is there is that LCD screen underneath there and this uh, sides of these can scratch that LCD screen and basically you're gonna have to replace it. So line it up with the screw holes, screw it down and that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do to get it leveled again. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a test print on this uh, when, uh, when I'm done. And, uh, you know, basically it should come out perfectly fine. We'll see how it goes. But uh, that's basically my experience in resin printing is if you have an issue with something sticking to only half of the plate, nine times out of ten it's going to be your build plate is tilted in some way, shape, or form. Even if it's a tiny bit off, um, you definitely want to double check this and make sure that it is good because the littlest, slightest adjustment off and you can ruin your entire print. So, especially if you're not using supports. That is the worst thing to ever do, uh, especially if you're doing a pretty long print that takes up a good portion of the build volume. So, Other than that, I just wanted to show you guys uh, at least how I level things. Uh, that's that's how I've leveled FDM printers, and I'm going to do the same here uh, when it comes to the resin printers. Now, on FDM, there is a little bit more give on the paper, but from what I was told, the closer you are to the LCD screen, the better off you're going to be. So um, we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, there is another way that you can do this with leveling. You can have this entire vat on here. Do not have anything inside of it, no resin, no water, no nothing. In fact, never ever put water in these things, never. Okay, the reason being is, well, don't put any water in there before you put resin in it for the first time because what the resin does is it'll get inside the seal, that the FEP, FEP. Uh, that's basically the clear, uh, clear plastic that's on the bottom of these vats. Um, it will go inside of those and cure and basically make a, a gasket in a way. Uh, so, but if you put water in here first before you put resin, that's not going to happen because there's going to be water, water and moisture in there and you're just going to have a bad day. So uh, the chances of it leaking are very, very good. Uh, on, an, uh, on another note, if you guys are worried about something leaking, you can always get um, basically like food trays or any type of tray that will go underneath it. Um, I've got this one set up. Uh, it's kind of a larger one. It's definitely way larger for this because I bought it for another resin printer, which is right below the desk here waiting to be worked on. Um, but this I got from Ikea. Uh, this is the product number 503.782.07. Uh, and let's see if it's got the name on it. Nah, it's just got Ikea all over it. So... But yeah, uh, made in India, it's IKEA. That's that's the product number, um, and this is definitely way bigger than a printer. So, and it's got a nice little lip on it, so you can uh, you can have your resin spill onto that and not damage anything on your uh, your desk and everything. So that's something to definitely look into if you're going to be doing resin printing, because you never ever know if a FEP shield is going to uh, give away, break at any point in time, because 
they do have a lot of stickiness motion every single time you start a print. So at some point, they will wear out, and one of those times you're not going to be paying attention, and you're just going to have resin all over the place. And that's probably the last thing you want to be cleaning up is resin. So that's just my last tidbit for that. Uh, like I said, we'll go ahead and start this, uh, this printing up here. And uh, that's pretty much all I had to do for this video. Uh, if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, please go ahead and leave them down below. Uh, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to see some more videos because I'll have plenty more uh, doing some comparison videos of uh, other resin printers that are on the market uh, budget-wise and uh, just how they all fare together. Uh, we'll be doing plenty more uh, uh, videos on the Elegoo Mars as well and how to do slicing and how to do proper supports. Uh, got a lot of things on the, on the plate, so uh, stay tuned. Uh, hope you guys enjoy what you've seen already. And uh, yeah, happy printing, guys.